At first glance, magnetoresistance seems like a straightforward phenomenon. You apply a magnetic field to a material, and its electrical resistance changes, sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. This effect is well known in metals and semiconductors and forms the basis of technologies like magnetic field sensors and hard drives. But in the 1980s and early 1990s, physicists discovered something truly astonishing. In certain engineered multi-layer materials, the resistance didn't just change, it dropped dramatically by up to 50% or more. This effect was named Giant Magnetor Resistance, GMR, and it defied conventional expectations. According to classical scaling laws, resistance changes should be modest, linear, predictable. So how could stacking a few thin layers of materials just nanometers thick? produce such an outsized response. This puzzling behavior is known as the giant magnetor resistance enhancement paradox. How do seemingly simple structural changes lead to magnetor resistive effects that far exceed predictions from standard models of electron transport and magnetic response? Let's take a step back. In classical magnetor's resistance, resistance changes because the motion of electrons is disrupted by a magnetic field. Electrons spiral, their paths bend, collisions increase, and so resistance rises. This effect is typically small and increases smoothly with the strength of the field. But in GMR systems, something very different is happening, not in a bulk material, but in ultra-thin films, often composed of alternating layers of ferromagnetic and non-magnetic metals, like Fe slash CO, or co slash corthod, or here's the key insight in these nanoscale sandwiches, spin dependent scattering dominates. Electrons have spin an intrinsic magnetic moment and they scatter differently depending on whether their spin is parallel or anti parallel to the magnetization of the layers they move through. When adjacent ferromagnetic layers are anti parallel, spin up electrons may be blocked by one layer, while spin down are blocked by another, leading to high resistance. But when the layers align parallel, one spin channel flows freely and the resistance drops sharply. Now, here's the paradox. According to naive models, stacking more layers should lead to incremental changes in resistance, not a giant leap. But in practice, GMR can increase nonlinearly with the number of interfaces, the layer thickness, and the spin polarization. The resistance change isn't simply the sum of each layer's contribution. It's a coherent emergent property of the whole multi-layer system. This suggests that interfacial quantum effects, not just classical scattering, are playing a major role. So why does GMR behave so differently from what classical scaling predicts? The answer lies in the quantum nature of electron transport at the nanoscale. In bulk materials, electrons act like particles scattering off impurities, but in ultra-thin layers, they behave more like waves, sensitive to interference, boundary conditions, and quantum confinement. When electrons traverse multiple interfaces, their spin coherence and phase relationships can either enhance or suppress scattering dramatically. This leads to a kind of quantum amplification, where carefully designed layer thicknesses and magnetizations produce collective effects far greater than the sum of their parts. This enhancement is especially sensitive to interface sharpness. A single atomic layer of roughness can change spin scattering dramatically. Spin diffusion length, how far spin polarized electrons can travel without flipping their spin. Layer thickness, too thin and the layers lose magnetic properties, too thick and coherent effects fade. Temperature and material purity, quantum coherence is fragile, so GMR is highly sensitive to noise impurities and thermal agitation. You might ask, is this just a laboratory curiosity? Absolutely not. The discovery of GMR won the 2007 Nobel Prize in Physics, and it revolutionized data storage technology. Before GMR, hard drives could only read weak magnetic signals with limited resolution. With GMR-based read heads, data could be packed much more densely, leading to the modern era of terabyte storage. Every time you access information from a traditional spinning hard drive, you're relying on GMR. Beyond that, GMR laid the foundation for Spintronics, 
a field where electronic devices use not just the charge of electrons, but also their spin, enabling new types of memory like MRAM, logic circuits, and even quantum information processing. Could even stronger effects be engineered? Yes. Researchers have already moved beyond GMR to tunneling magnetoresistance, TMR, where electrons tunnel across an insulating barrier and colossal magnetoresistance, CMR, in complex oxides. Each new system presents its own version of the enhancement paradox, materials that somehow amplify spin-dependent transport far beyond what bulk theories predict. And perhaps that's the deeper message of the GMR paradox. When systems are engineered at the nanoscale with quantum rules in play, the whole becomes far more than the sum of its parts. Tiny adjustments, just a few atoms thick, can unleash massive functional effects. So while classical physics tells us to expect smooth proportional change, GMR and its relatives remind us that structure, spin, and coherence can conspire to break those expectations wide open. What looks like an ordinary metal stack can become an engine of quantum amplification quietly powering the digital age. The giant magnetor resistance GMR enhancement paradox refers to the surprising observation that multi-layered nanostructured materials composed of alternating magnetic and non-magnetic layers exhibit a dramatic change in electrical resistance in response to a magnetic field. Far beyond what would be predicted by classical or even semi-classical models, this effect emerges not from additive contributions of each interface, but from cooperative quantum mechanical interactions across the entire structure. And the paradox lies in understanding how such an amplified response arises from what seems like a relatively simple layering of materials. In phi slash ER multilayers, resistance can drop by more than 50% when an external magnetic field aligns the magnetic moments of adjacent layers, despite individual layers being only a few nanometers thick, much like flipping a few light switches and suddenly illuminating an entire stadium where the overall effect is far greater than the sum of its parts. Emergent quantum effects in layered materials refer to the collective behavior that arises from spin-dependent electron scattering across engineered interfaces, where when magnetic layers are anti-parallel, conduction electrons experience enhanced scattering resulting in high resistance, and when magnetizations align, scattering is suppressed, leading to a drop in resistance. This effect is not due to a single interface, but from the cumulative coherent influence of many nanoscale layers, as seen in electrons traveling through a co-slash-cu-slash-co-tri layer, which experience different scattering depending on whether the co-layer's magnetic moments are aligned or anti-aligned, much like navigating a hallway where all the doors are either uniformly open or closed, resulting in either a smooth passage or a significantly obstructed path based on a global configuration rather than individual doors. GMR enhancement arises from key mechanisms, including the quantum confinement of electron wave functions, spin-dependent scattering at interfaces, and coherence over multiple layers, where the multi-layer geometry creates quantum wells and spin filters that defy explanation by simple bulk or thin film scaling laws, and electron transport is better described by two current models for spin-up and spin-down channels that reveal interference effects, spin memory loss, and collective alignment behavior amplifying resistance changes. This is illustrated in multi-layer spin valves where changing the relative orientation of magnetic layers modifies electron scattering probabilities, leading to a non-linear change in resistance, much like sound waves interfering inside a pipe where echoes either can cancel or amplify each other depending on the structural arrangement. GMR exemplifies how complex system-level behavior emerges from simple structural rules, as the nonlinear scaling of resistance with layer thickness and magnetic orientation reflects principles where the whole behaves in ways distinct from any individual component. 
and it highlights how nanoscale interactions can lead to macroscopic effects that are crucial in condensed matter physics and nanotechnology. This is evident in granular GMR systems where magnetic nanoparticles dispersed in a non-magnetic matrix collectively switch their magnetic moments under external fields, creating intricate resistance profiles, much like individual dancers in a flash mob who, when synchronized, produce a stunning coordinated performance. Although GMR is fundamentally a quantum transport effect, it is intimately tied to thermodynamic principles through dissipation and energy landscapes, where the magnetic alignment of layers corresponds to different energy minima in the magnetic domain configuration, and energy is required to switch between these states, with the resulting resistance change reflecting varied pathways of energy dissipation for spin-polarized current. This is seen in spintronic devices where applying a magnetic field shift the system from a high energy disordered state to a lower energy aligned configuration, lowering resistance, much like cycling downhill after a long climb, where the change in the energy landscape makes the journey faster and easier by reducing friction. GMR systems encode and decode information through the spin state of electrons with magnetic sensors and data storage devices representing logical bits via magnetic orientation that determines resistance levels, meaning that information is stored in magnetic configurations and read through electron transport properties and the resulting resistance contrast offers a high signal to noise ratio, essential for instance, information storage, for instance, a hard disk read head employs a GMR sensor to detect whether the underlying magnetic orientation results in high or low resistance, translating this into an electrical signal, much like reading Braille where the smoothness of your fingers gliding over a page conveys a story. The principles of GMR extend into bio-inspired and artificial systems, particularly in spintronics where electron spin is utilized in addition to charge, enabling applications such as magnetic biosensors, neuromorphic computing, and quantum logic devices, with the sensitivity and compactness of GMR-based devices allowing them to mimic biological sensing or computational processes at the nanoscale and create hybrid systems that combine physical and informational processing. For instance, GMR biosensors can detect specific biomolecules by attaching them to magnetic particles that alter local resistance enabling ultra-sensitive diagnostics, much like detecting a whisper in a noisy room where the slightest acoustic change stands out once you learn how to listen. Uh, despite its promising applications, GMR faces several engineering and theoretical challenges such as interface roughness, interdiffusion between layers, spin-orbit coupling, and thermal stability, all of which can degrade performance, and predicting GMR responses in new materials requires quantum transport simulations beyond classical approximations. As device dimensions shrink, maintaining coherent spin transport and managing spin relaxation becomes increasingly difficult, with even minor atomic scale imperfections at interfaces drastically affecting the magnitude of GMR, much like trying to tune a piano with worn strings where each flaw subtly alters the sound and makes achieving harmony much harder. Research into GMR continues to drive advancements in quantum sensing, memory storage, and next-generation electronics with hybrid structures that combine GMR with topological insulators, 2D materials, and quantum dots being explored to push beyond current performance limits, and the paradoxical enhancement of resistance change inspiring new theoretical models and experimental platforms that deepen our understanding of quantum coherence, spin interactions, and non-equilibrium transport. Emerging devices such as magnetic tunnel tunnel junctions, and spin transfer torque memory, which build upon GMR principles, offer fast, non-volatile, energy-efficient data storage, much like replacing the gears in a clock with light-speed magnets to create machinery that is faster, smaller, and smarter thanks to a more profound understanding of invisible forces.